And we're back. You're listening to Orlando.OurCityRadio.com, the urban station, and we're doing an exclusive interview with actor, model, and singer Christian Rivera. Um, Christian, you have uh, two projects uh, coming out. Uh, You just finished filming The Awakening, which actually uh, stars uh, one of my dear friends and uh, somebody that I uh, interviewed uh, before, uh, Cher Chere. Um, tell us about the premise of that movie and what was it like working with Cher? Cher's awesome. Um, you know, let me tell you, first of all, Kelly D. Weaver is absolutely amazing to work with. Um, I, I think you guys may have spoken with him before as well. Um, but he is just the type of director that is so hands-on with everything that he does and he's so professional. You would not expect, you know, people that a lot of independent filmmakers, it's kind of the crew is very small, but this guy, he has his stuff together. And he, everything from the table reads to, you know, his um, assistant director. I mean, he's got just everybody's hands on, and it, the days just flow by. And, you know, your scenes, they're done so quickly. You're in, you're out. It, it's awesome. Um, and it's like a family. It's like a, a group of family and, and close friends. When they're there, you feel like you know everybody. They make you feel very welcome. Um, mm-hmm. Working with Sh- working with Cher is just awesome. I mean, Cher also, I've gotten to work with. You know, like you said, in the Awakening, and then in an upcoming film as well. And um, she she's a blast. I, I had not met her before um, the Awakening, and it, it was important that we had some type of chemistry right away because I, I was. I knew we were going to do a scene together, and I was like, how is this going to work? Um, And there was a little bit of comedy involved in our stuff, and you really have to have that relationship, you know, with the person that you're going to be on set with. And I'm telling you, from the moment that we met at at the table read, she was just such a welcoming, humble person, and that's what I like, because I'm the the same way. So it, it just, we automatically clicked, we started laughing, and it made it so much easier and so much more of a relaxed environment to work with her. And, uh, yeah, it, it, it was awesome. It was awesome doing our set. And, actually, we both got pulled in now for the Awakening Tales that will be coming up soon. And we have some film dates now coming up in February for that. And we get to work together again. We have, we picked up three, epi- three episodes in that. So, um, I don't know. I feel like, you know, Cher, I, and who knows where else I will work with her. But I've been seeing her a lot lately. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. And, and uh, yeah. Uh, you're also uh, one of the uh, co-stars of the new movie that's coming out called uh, Room 236. I saw the trailer uh, to the movie, and it's just uh, such an action-packed movie. Uh, uh, great! It, it looks like a great uh, crime thriller. Um, so how did you get involved with that project? Um, a room to 36, uh, back in July, I had reached out to a casting that I had seen um, on one of the sites. And, um, you know, I said, let me give it a shot. And I was still really just, it was the first time I started diving headfirst into things. And I said, let me just see what comes out of it. Um, and I got to go in there and, and do an audition. It was, you know, improvising and everything. Um, and it was great. It was like, it was just meant. It was just meant to be, and it was challenging, and it was everything that I liked it, you know, to be. And uh, Room Two Thirty Six is amazing. Um, we are actually this Sunday. I have a couple of scenes that I will be filming, and we were just recruiting. I know several um, people for that. Um, I have a supporting lead role in Room Two Thirty Six, and so I'm excited about what what's about to come. And um, I can't wait for you guys to see those scenes because that's where. I think it's the first time I've done multiple projects before, but this being such a big film, and not only that, just the um, amount of energy and what I get to bring to the table, you know, from me, that you know, I, I get to, like, um, I think we had discussed before, it's something where you you get to put in your ideas too. It's not just them telling you this is what I expect from you, this is what you have to do, but it's okay to think outside of the box or go outside of the box, so they're they're okay with that. So being able to do that is awesome for me because I can just, you know, give them so many different things and see which one works best for them. But I think you guys will really get a good taste of who I am as an actor and how strong of an actor I can be. (laughs) That's fantastic. And as an actor, um, what do you want out of the director? Out of the director? um, Pretty much I look for a director that's um, able to communicate, um, 
you know, someone that that is is you know, I know understand that there's a time constraint and everything and that things need to flow. Um, but I look for excitement and communication. If you're excited, you're amped and you're pumped and you're behind the camera and you're like, you know, let's go, you're doing great and, you know, change this up a little bit, you give constructive criticism, but you're not putting me down, but in, then at the same time you focus on the on the positives. Um that's what I look for because that will totally affect on how you act, and, you know, and, and how each take goes and how your experience is right. as an actor. And it's very common for anybody that's in anything that has to do with the arts. Um, depression is a very big, easy thing to fall into, um, especially, you know, for actors. Um, because of all the, you know, rejection that we get or the constant criticism. And so I definitely look for somebody that... Um, can kind of understand this, but gives constructive criticism and focuses on the positive and, and is excited. You know, if I see that you're passionate about what you're doing, I go, okay, I know what I'm doing is correct because I'm fully passionate about it. He's passionate about it. This is meant to be. You know, it's just, that's when it kind of just reassures me that I made the right choice in accepting um, the role. Excellent. And um, let, let's talk about, uh, do you have anything uh, going on musically? Um uh, right now, uh, any any new recordings, originals? Absolutely, absolutely. Actually, um, I've been working. Back in April, I had won a competition, Central Florida's Next Big Star. Well, I should say myself and someone else. It was two people. Um, and I got mm. the – I didn't get the cash portion, but I got something that for me was just as valuable. I actually got recording studio time um, with a guy that actually has some music on Billboard's 100. Um, and he's amazing, and um, so I got to actually go into the studio, and pretty much whatever I wanted to work on, he said, let's do it, and I have had stuff written forever and a day, so it was awesome to get in there, um, but definitely, I've been actually kind of putting on my, my Peon page that you see on there. Um, that's my music page, and so I've been kind of putting little snippets here and there of stuff that I'm doing because I can't leak too much without the copyrights and all that stuff, um, but those right. are starting to co- those are starting to come in. But yeah, um, I anticipate the release of my album officially at the end of towards the end of this year. Um, it's something that I definitely wanted to take my time with. Um, I think every project that I work on, you can only focus at one on a t- at a time. You can't have one foot in one thing and the other foot in another. Even though mm-hmm. you have to try to balance it out because it's like you you, you just have to. If you want to be well-rounded, you got to do it all. <laughs> so, um, so it's difficult, but yes, um, I have focused on that. I just wrapped up another one of my tracks. I write my own melodies and I write my own lyrics. So, um, it's all me. Um, you know, the producer pretty much puts everything together. Um, I never, even though I played the violin and I played the piano and I played the flute, I never got to really, like I said, take the classes and learn to do it. So, all I can play pretty much mm-hmm. is like chord, chords and notes. And I work off of that, and, um, you know, a lot of the beats and everything, I record myself when things spontaneously come to my head. Um, like a lot of artists do, uh, I, start, I start beatboxing. And if I if there's something that came to my head, even if it's just like a certain sound, I record it. And if, you know, by the time at the end of the day comes, I have 20 different recordings, it's like 20 different sounds, I can pull from those, you know, when I'm making a song, and it's like, oh, that's what I wanted. Oh, yeah, I like that. So this is... Um, definitely a very personal project um it's storytelling uh the genres it's a mix like i said i grew up with such a mix and a wide variety so you're gonna get um your oldies it's a oldies r&b um meets pop and soul which is an interesting mix um so Mm -hmm. and people ask me all the time and the best i can say is think of righteous brothers meets benny king meets luther meets the modern day Miguel, Bruno Mars and Usher. And that's that, that concoction just works. That's a that's a good that's a interesting melty pot there. Yeah. A lot yeah, of great is. influences. There. And um uh, I guess I gotta I gotta put you on the spot here. Uh I guess you're adding uh CEO into your resume. What's that about? What tell us about the uh, entertainment company that you're trying to set up and form. <laughs> Tiana Entertainment um, is something that just came out of nowhere. Um, for those that don't know, um, Tion is actually the second half of, of my first name, Christian. Um, and in Spanish, you would say Cristian. So a lot of people call me Chris. They call me Tian. 
Um, and I was just like, you know what, that's a perfect stage name. So that's where I got that from. Um, and Tian Entertainment is something that, you know, if you really want to be successful in this business, there's a lot of things that there's going to come a certain age where you won't be able to do certain things. And you really have to put your heart and soul into everything. Um, if you have it, if you have the talent, you go for it. And that's that's definitely something that I've learned growing up. So Tian Entertainment, at the moment, it's not something that I'm fully focusing on. But at some point, that would go along with, you know, whether it be the production company for film or um you know, if I want to do things like, you know, clothing or if I want to do, you know, colognes and stuff like that. So definitely there's a lot of space to expand and to grow. I'm just kind of slowly prepping myself. Um, I know a lot of people will see TN Entertainment out there. Right now it's just, it helps me manage my work and at the same time I utilize it to help out other people that are starting off or if there's right. things, I, I try to help out my fellow actors and, and anybody that's an aspiring you know artist in general so if i see something you'll see it posted on on that site because it's so important to to really just help one another out that's what it's all about so you know at the end of the day we all end up being co-workers and and so that's pretty much what it is excellent and um for anybody that is interested in uh checking out uh, the latest on you where can they go uh, to uh, where, what websites can they? Do you have a Facebook account, Twitter account, website? Yes. Where can they go to? Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, if you are looking for Twitter, my Twitter account, um, it would actually be Tian, which is T I A N underscore music. Um, so Tian underscore music, and that would be my account. And you can follow me on there. I'm constantly updating that. It's connected with my Instagram, which is the same Tian underscore music. Um, I have two Facebook pages, which um, two people help me out with those, and so sometimes you'll see um, what they call the Facebook team, and they, they are updating stuff just to help me keep in touch with everybody and everybody in touch with me, um, especially family and friends that are so far away. And so um, my face, the two Facebook pages, one of them, if you put uh, Christian Rivera Actor, so www.facebook.com backslash Christian Rivera Actor, and that's my acting page, which is a new one. Um, the other one that's new as well is www.facebook.com backslash Tion official page. Um, you can also find out stuff through my um, imdb.com. If you put in my name, Christian Rivera, you'll see me on there with my credits and, and things that I'm working on. There's, I think people put, I don't even know, it says anonymous. They put this bio information. <laughs> kind of scary how much people know about you but um yeah there's a whole bio there <laughs> um and there's an official site that's coming up um you, if you type it now it'll take you somewhere but it looks like nothing right now because it's still in that process of being created um but yes christian rivera official site.com um is going to be another one that it's going to have everything from the the music the acting you know the modeling and and just whatever i'm working on and I have a, kind of like a blog, and I can update people and let them know what my thoughts are, are and communicate with them and if they have questions So uh, to make it a little bit more personal. And I try to be in there and be hands-on as much as possible with all of these pages. Um, but like I said, sometimes, because I know sometimes people write stuff and, and they think that I always read them first, but I don't always get to them first. Um, so, mm -hmm. But they're always forwarded to me, and my phone is constantly going off, so I try to try to be as active as possible with everybody. All right. Well, Christian, uh, this has been a phenomenal interview, and I want to thank you for uh, taking a moment of your time, of your busy schedule, to uh, chat with us. And I wish nothing but the best with you. And uh, whatever uh, whatever uh, aspirations you have in your life, I hope they all come true. And uh, we wish you nothing but the best. And uh, uh, again, uh, I know for a fact that this is the first of many interviews that we're going to be having. Uh, and uh, especially with the fact that um, you know the room 236 is going to be coming out. So, um, but uh, thank you very much, and uh, uh, keep in touch with us. And uh, when uh, your music drops, uh, we'll definitely play it on uh, rotation on uh, our city radio uh, for sure. Awesome. Because thank, that thank uh, you. not a problem, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, actor model and singer, and uh, brand-new CEO, Christian Rivera. You're listening to Orlando.RCDRadio.com, the urban station.